Well, this is a strawberry and it's made with soil and sunlight and rain and hope. This is also a strawberry made with the same hope and sun and rain and soil, except it died because it had disease, possibly because it wasn't treated with steam, which is a real thing. Stay tuned. I'm going to tell you how steam helps make strawberries on Steam Culture. Hey, I'm Brent. You're watching Steam Culture. Welcome to our new viewers. Welcome back to our longtime viewers. We appreciate you very much. We know we've done several episodes with steam and farming and agriculture. We've baled hay with steam, we've done a lot of weed control with steam, we've even done sterilization of soil with steam. And that's kind of what today's episode alludes to. Now, it's not really a new technology. In the 1800s, there was lots of uh, studies that I was able to find, books, manuals about applying steam to soil. In fact, it's uh, kind of becoming a little bit more in vogue. It's actually never gone away. Still trying to figure out how to use steam because it's so much better for the environment than a lot of pesticides that they used and have actually been banned over the years. So, uh, you know, in California, we found this video from a strawberry field where uh, farmers are trying to figure out. You've got a, an upright Clayton boiler uh, on a specially rigged trailer being pulled behind a tractor and they're applying steam. And you can see from the video, they're raising the soil temperature up to about 163 degrees, which gets rid of nasties like the beet nematode, which apparently is really bad for strawberries. So the knock on steam has always been that it's too costly, it takes too much time, da 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 da, but funny, it hasn't gone away. Still trying to make it work. So we'll try and keep you updated when we see some new stuff. And uh, how about updating yourself by going to our website where we have great content each and every week. We got steam cultures, we got boiling points, we got all sorts of stuff on our website. Stop by, have a look, and I will work on something for you next week. Go Buffs! See you then.